Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Uh, we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. Next up is a business that adds more meaning to one of the most meaningful purchases someone can make. Hi Sharks, my name is Christian Matromka and I'm from Houston, Texas. My company, Doa More, is improving one of the oldest traditions in the world. Sharks, many of you have shopped for engagement or wedding rings before. But looking back, what do you remember about that ring? Maybe the store it was from? The carrot weight? Maybe how much you spent? But what if your life-changing day could have changed another life forever? That's exactly what Doa More does. Not only do we create some of the most sustainable rings in the world using recycled precious metals and ethically sourced stones, but we take it one step further. Every Doamori ring gives a person in a developing country access to clean water. This way, a couple can change another life forever on their special day. With each ring, our customers are literally helping to solve one of the most pressing problems in the world today. So how does it work, Sharks? It's simple. Just visit our website and design the perfect ring for your loved one. And when you're ready, just check out and we'll begin making your ring right here in the USA. And when you receive your ring, you and your partner can see the specific impact that your ring made. You can pull up a photo and the GPS coordinates of the actual water well you helped build, along with information on the community that now has access to clean water. Clean water changes everything. We've already built water so projects in nine countries, and the list keeps growing. So sharks, for $600,000, in exchange for 6% of my company, which yeah. one of you would like to be my partner and say yes to my <laughs> proposal? <laughs> Lovely and presentation. Thank you. thank you. Is this simply a situation where you take a percentage of your profits, target a community that needs fresh water, and send the money there to do the work? Like Flint, so the way it works is whether you're buying you a go $250 wedding band or a $25,000 engagement ring. Every ring gives one person access to water. Over the last few years, 20.5% of our net profits have gone towards it. On average, it's about $50 per ring. You're burdening your business with a 20% tax, basically, but there must be a reason you're doing that, other yeah, than the just- reason, The burden. reason is my story. Like, when I was younger, my family and I moved to you India. A social and we were mission. walking to school one day, yeah, yeah. and we saw a large crowd gathered around a lady that was crying. The little boy was laying in his mom's arms and he had died from the bad pani or the bad water that he and his family had to drink every single day. Mm. And this image has stayed in my head for a really long time. Mm. Later, as an engineer, I went to work in the middle of nowhere to help drill oil wells. And very quickly I learned it takes weeks and weeks to get to oil, but you hit water within minutes. This bothered me because there are literally people and children dying from not having clean water when the clean water is a hundred yards beneath their feet. Around the same time, I was shopping for engagement rings, and I was really troubled that these symbols of love came with questions of ethics. So I thought when I proposed, what if I could do it with a ring that didn't just not hurt the world, but actually help the world? How do you source the diamonds ethically? So all of our natural diamonds, we're only sourcing them if we're a hundred percent sure they're from an ethical mine. And by that, you, you mean how? that the labor is treated well, that the conditions of mining are good. Correct. Or we do lab-created diamonds. The lab-created market is booming. Even the rings you're seeing, they're made from recycled precious metal, recycled gold, recycled platinum. Mm. So how, lo how long ago was this? When did you start the company? Yeah. So I left my job in 2013. Okay. I had saved up $18,000. I put every single dollar into starting the company. 2014 was my first year working on this full-time. You must so have a wonderful sales. Yeah, talk, talk about, about your business. business. Yeah, let's do it. So last year we did $8.3 million in sales. This year we'll be wow. doing $11.5 million in sales. Okay. What, did you make, what did you make on the 8.3? What are you gonna make this year on the 11? Question. So we've already done 5.2 this year, so yeah. far to date, and we've netted 460,000 cash flow positive on the- Okay, what about it? Did so you make money on the 8.3 last year? We do. Um, it was a little bit less than 100,000. What do you charge for, let's say, a two-carat solitaire? Sure. So yours is very close to two-carat. Okay. It's, it's about two and a half. 
Mike. Your engagement ring was $10,800. That is a lab-created diamond? That is a lab-created diamond. Every single ring here is lab-created except for yours, Mr. Wonderful. What's your average sale? What's the amount? So our average order value is $3,900. Okay. So Barbara also has a beautiful lab-created engagement ring. Yours is $3,400. And what did you give Lori? Team 10,000. 10, I'm not here to get in trouble, but... Um, <laughs> well, I'm out. I'll tell you that, buddy. Oh, so no, our gross no. margins are 41%. They are. And yeah, 41%. and 41% for an e-commerce jewelry company is definitely above average. I think you're a very impressive business person, and you're a person that from your heart is pursuing this. But Before this is not my world. Okay. Congratulations, Zygazun. Thank you. Zygazun. Thank you. I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan. But can I tell you all how much capital? Can I get back to the can I talk numbers you just for a second? We've raised. I invested eighteen thousand dollars in 2013. Right. That's every single dollar I had when I quit my job. We have not raised a single dollar more. So cumulatively, so we've done $26 amazing. million. Dollars, $26 million wow. plus in sales. I always thought I would have to, of course, invest amazing. more money. I would I have to raise money. In. I'm literally standing here. <laughs> we've only invested $18,000. This is the first Look, time I've story. ever pitched anyone. It's no small feat to be able to go from $18,000 to $11 million in sales and 9% margins. You deserve a lot of credit Thank you. for that. Thank right? you. You have a better mission the 99.9% .9 of them. Sure. You've probably got better marketing than 99.9% .9 of them, but that's hard to sustain because yeah, anybody so. else can walk in the door and try to do the you same thing. Yeah. No Neither. barriers to entry to compete with you. And that makes it hard to invest in. So for those reasons, okay, mm. okay thank you. I, I don't think just anyone can add this to what they were yes, doing. Yes, they can. I think it's amazing what you've built. Thank you've you. built it with nothing but great salesmanship and marketing. But when my first husband proposed to me, I took a new pair of skis instead, and it was a good decision. <laughs> when I proposed to my second husband, I took when a I Volkswagen proposed. instead, because I really wanted a Volkswagen bug. <laughs> so I've never had an engagement ring, I've never had a marriage ring, Here and I've never even ever bought anything real in the jewelry area. Mm. So I'm certainly not your gal here, right? I really wish you the best of luck, but I'm out. Listen, let me, let me give it to you straight. I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I believe you are a good entrepreneur, OK? Thank you. Your evaluation is insane. A great market. Here's my offer. I'll take the 6% basically as a tip, but what? I'm going to put a royalty on this deal, 100 bucks a transaction. That royalty goes away after I get three times on it, OK? I'll give you the 600000 I make three times Dang. that on a royalty of $100 a transaction, and I put you into my network of La More. And we try so hard. I network. actually think. Hey, listen, I think that, that deal makes a, a lot of sense. That's a from him. Because I about the numbers, he is in that business. Right. I think Kevin has given you an offer far better than I would. So for those reasons, okay. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. What do you want to do? You only have one offer. Four sharks are out. Krish has an offer from Kevin for his altruistic engagement ring company, Do Amore. You're going to have to make a decision. What do you want to do? I'm trying to convince others to come back We're in. It does not matter. You know what? You, know, you have a burden hand. You have Kevin here, and he Listen, is. Listen, if you don't want to do the, the deal, I'm okay with it. I gave you it's a realistic. It's not really that bad. Come on. You got this in the At the end of the day, counter. we came to make a deal, but. I don't think that we need help with the things that you're indicating. We need help with more distribution. We need help with the marketing part of changing. What do you think I do with all my companies? What do you think I do? I reduce their customer acquisition costs. That's what Shark Tank's all about. That's why you have to pay more for a shark, any shark. But one that's in the wedding industry, you have to pay even yeah. more for. I know this space inside out. I'm not cheap. <laughs> Take the offer or not, your decision. Would you do the 600,000? For 10 percent of the company. No, we're a revenue. We're growing. Don't even revenue. talk anymore. No, the answer is no. Never, never. Having upset now. Wow. Trish, I've done so many deals in my life. She's I really understand fun. valuation. It's a discipline I have. So you yeah. have a second offer. Yeah, right. You know, you have a second offer. For 15 percent in the heat of the moment. Do you want to do it? I'll okay. help you with everything you said. I will go with Kevin. Help you with that. Do we have a deal? One second, one second, don't, don't walk in yet. <laughs> one second, one second, no, 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 no. Come on, Dan, you're putting the pressure. 12%. <laughs> I promise you, I will make 
Daniel, I know all of y'all work hard. I know that y'all work so hard for your money. I promise so you, I will work hard to literally help solve the water You're gonna say no for three percent? I promise you. I promise you, we're gonna keep going. I will change the world with you together. And like, okay. you, you are the one Kirsch, that I want. I'm out. Oh. Oh. Okay. He lost two deals. Now you can deal with Daniel. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank uh, you. Make it easy. 15%. Oh, I'll donate man. the other 3% to your cost. That was robbery. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. 15%, but that 3% equivalent that we're dividing, I will donate it to the cause that we agree. That's really nice. Do we have a deal? And you. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, let's do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so like, excited. Mark! You are such a cool Can I shake your hand? Yes, yeah, so you can shake your hand. Thank you. I'm going to change the world with you. I felt like Mark when he just like, look, you know what? But um, I hope that the, his partnership with Daniel proves to be very profitable for him. However, I believe he should have went with Kevin. Kevin gave him a good deal. And I don't know if he understood, but coming into that network that Kevin has already built behind his wedding brand, like, he has a lot, a network full of wedding things, you know. And so, this is a ring. You already have the customers. He he already have the customers ready to do business with him. That chops off a lot of what he's already spending toward marketing. Because he don't really have to market to the people that's in Kevin's network. Kevin's going to say something on a newsletter or something like that. And people are going to be clicking the button to start the purchase. And so, I think he missed the wag. I think he missed it with Kevin's offer. And you could tell Kevin was just kind of like, dude, like, I'm giving you a good offer right now. I would have counted on that equity, I mean, on the royalty, because Kevin's deal was 6%, and then he wanted, uh, was it $1,000? Yeah, $1,000 per transaction, or was it 100 I wrote down 100 I'm not sure if I was just writing fast. But he wanted $100 per transaction until he recouped three times his investment. I would have countered with that, you know, get back your initial investment and you keep your equity or whatever he would do. But he just totally disregarded Kevin's offer. He came back at Kevin saying, what you want to do is not what we need. But then he turned around and said, we need to reduce our marketing costs. That's what you get with the eyes on with the eyes of the people that's in these sharks networks already. The multiple business portfolios that they have, um, you know, they're going to try to you know increase the sales of their whole business. And so I just really believe he missed the mark with um, with the offer, and he allowed Kevin to get away. I hope that his deal with Daniel. He ended up making a deal with Daniel for the 600K. And um, Daniel stuck to his 15% equity. But what he pledged to do was take 3% of his 15% and donate those proceeds to the clean water initiative that he has uh, a passion for. So that's nice. So they ended up walking away uh, with the 15% for the 600k to Dan you and I really do hope he he's profitable and it is really a good partnership for him uh, like I said I think he missed the bit I think he missed the missed the boat with uh, uh, Kevin I would have definitely took Kevin on his deal after I countered and tried to get that royalty down but hey I hope he is uh, successful in his business with Dan you so uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like this content. And make sure you check us out for the um, next one. Great job. Thank you guys. Congrats. Thank you all so much. Chris. Terrific. Thank you all so much. I'm so excited. Wow. Yes. Daniel understood what we're trying to do. Daniel's entire life's work has been social impact. He was the perfect shark. With Daniel, we're going to bring so many people clean water as we sell so many rings.